Hi people. Uh, sorry that I haven't made a video in such a long time. I don't know why really. It's just life, you know? Hmm. Numbers. Uh, my highest ever weight, highest ever recorded weight, was in September of last year when I was 246.9 pounds, which is 112 kilos. Day of surgery, April 4th, uh, 2012, I was 217.1 pounds, which is 98.5 pounds, uh, kilos, sorry. <laughs> and now, nine weeks post-op, well technically it's tomorrow, but I promised Keith, pierced cub, you know, uh, that I'd make a video tonight. So, this morning I weighed myself and I was 87.6 kilos, which is 193.1 pounds, which means I've lost 54 pounds since September of last year. And it's amazing. Uh, goal weight. Yeah, I've never been remotely near normal BMI, so I have no clue. But uh, I've done some calculations <laughs> with the help of internet. And uh, if I'm to have a BMI of 22.5, which is in the middle of the normal range BMI, uh, I'd have to be 60.2 kilos or 132.7 pounds. Uh, so, I don't know, something around 130, 140 pounds would be okay, I guess. Uh, my surgeon and my di dietitian both gave me the goal weight of 72 kilos, which is 158.7 pounds or a BMI of 26.9 and I said well I didn't have this surgery to be overweight so that's not an option for me I know I'm not gonna be a twiggy <laughs> or skinny 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 person and that's not my goal either but I think the 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 lower I am the further I no, the closer I am to the lower end of the spectrum of BMI normal range, uh, the better for my bad knees and other joints. So 72 kilos, 158.7 pounds, no thank you. Uh, dumping? Oh yes. Bread pasta carbs actually it's hard so I'm having to make a recommitment to the no carb or low carb for at least the first year because this isn't fun uh, I don't get um, cold sweats or a rabbit heart rate or anything but I I throw up and that's not fun at all uh, protein yeah uh, I think I'm actually <coughs> eating too little uh, of not just protein but everything because I have a massive fear of overeat overeating uh, but so far I'm doing okay I I'm not feeling sick or tired or, any or anything and I'm taking my vitamins and my iron and everything so yes liquids I get about half 
of what I need in each day. I don't know. It's better than nothing. Mm. My newest piece of news is this. Oops. Yesterday, I joined a gym. <laughs> and this is uh, a membership card valid for one year. And um, I also got a tag that enables me to visit visit the gym even when it's not officially open. So far I've been once mm, yesterday uh, and I worked out for I did 10 hours 10 hours <laughs> 10 minutes uh, of uh, stationary biking and, uh, as a warm-up and then I did 30 minutes of weights and machines I can tell I haven't been to the gym in a while because I was beat and today I've had some sore muscles uh, the biggest thing apart from the fear of overeating that I've noticed during the fast pass. Excuse me, I'll put the part away before I lose it. So, um, is that I've noticed that I have some major gender issues. I've never been or felt very girly and I've during the one and a half years I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints uh, I I felt like a transvestite 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 sorry uh, when I had to wear if I had to wear skirts or dresses and uh, that's all gotten a lot worse not that I haven't not that I have wor worn dresses or skirts ever for the past I don't know almost 20 years or so but Mm, when I was going to the uh, the aerobics at the local hospital, I had they told me I had to borrow swimming gear there for hygienic reasons. Uh, and since I'm a girl, uh, oops, um, I had to wear a bathing suit and I, s I told the physical therapist that I just couldn't do it and I actually said the words genderqueer to her which was the first time I've ever said anything like that out loud to anyone else but me and she was very okay with it and told me I could use whatever swimming gear I wanted so I brought my own. I I bought a pair of shorts, uh, a, a t-shirt, and a sports bra, and I'm okay. But I'm actually thinking of getting a binder and trying out to see who this person, me, is because I really don't know I always figured that I didn't like my body because I'm I was fat but now that I'm not able to stuff my face with food and numb my emotions by eating these feelings surface and 
I don't know. I have no plans. Oops, sorry. The dream went black. Uh, I have no plans for testosterone or anything like that or top surgery, but I don't know. It may just be a face. I don't know. To people in their 40s have faces. I don't know. Uh, all I know that I, is that I'm not going to do anything. I start a uh, transition or even seek out a gender therapist until I've reached my goal weight because maybe, maybe it's just because I'm not very comfortable with my body because of the weight. I don't know. Um, anything else? I've started a tracking, scent tracking course with with Sienna, and she's a star. So we're going for the sweet uh, the title of Swedish tracking champion this year or next year, or this year and next year. Uh, no, no, anything else? Not really, no. I just enjoy life now because I'm much more active and I don't get so tired easily. Yeah, well, this vlog is kind of crappy because I haven't made one in so long, so I'm out of practice. But I promise to try to make one, another vlog, another vlog, sorry, <laughs> uh, soon-ish. Uh, I, I may have some more issues or thoughts around the gender thing and maybe that could be interesting at least for me to document. The weight thing is just happy happy because I can now wear clothes that I've kept in my closet for years because I w wasn't able to wear them. Um, so, I hope all of you are doing well, and although I haven't made any videos, I want you all to know that I've been watching a lot of your videos, and it's such a weird feeling to watch videos that I used to watch before I was a post-op. And I, if I, and when I watch them now, now I just go, oh yeah, I realize that I, I recognize that now. Whereas before I was just, okay. This is so much fun. I, I love this community really. Uh, I'm hoping to get my best friend Lotta to join me in another video. Uh, because she's about a month further out on this journey than I am uh, and she's doing ex extremely well as well well take care everybody and talk to you soon bye